What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Siki. I post fitness and weight loss content on my channel. So if you guys are looking to level up your physique, if you have weight loss goals, weight gain goals, if you want to get in the gym, go ahead and subscribe right now. For today's video, I'm going to explain how I stopped binging. I dealt with binging for quite a while on my weight loss journey and even before then, like unknowingly. So I'm going to give you guys some tips, some things that I did to stop binging. Before I get started with this video, I want to let you guys know I'm not a I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a therapist, you know, I don't have any type of, you know, medical certification. I'm just telling you guys things that I did in my experience to help me stop and break this habit. The first things first is going to be listening to your body. So if you are someone that has been dieting for a long time, maybe you've had weight loss goals for years, you've been trying to lose the same 10 pounds for, for the last 10 years, right? And you've gotten in the habit of starving yourself on diets or just, you know, seriously restricting your um, your calories. Maybe you've gotten in the habit of seriously ignoring your cravings. So you can crave a chocolate chip cookie for like a month, two months, and you'll just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. You'll really want a burger when you're on your period and you'll just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. And then you find that in a month, in two months, in however long, you are binging, you know, the chocolate chip cookies or you're binging at five guys or something like that. That's because you're ignoring what your body actually wants. A lot of times our cravings are like, they're like your body trying to tell you, hey, I really need this nutrient right now, okay? So go ahead and listen to your body. When you get hungry, like maybe you're someone who does intermittent fasting or you're someone who likes to have your meals at a certain time, right? If you find yourself getting hungry, go ahead and just eat. Don't wait, don't tell yourself, okay, let's wait another hour to eat, let's wait another 45 minutes to eat, let's wait until after this workout to eat because what you do is you set yourself up for a binge. That actually, uh, coincides with my next tip which is to eat regularly if you are someone who is super busy right maybe you work like doubles constantly or you have like a nine-to-five job where you're in an office and you find yourself you know overstimulated and working through meal times you need to start scheduling your meals you need to start making sure that you are eating every three to four hours I noticed this past year what I would do if I was stressed out or what I would do if I was working often is that I would schedule in meal times. I would set alarms in my phone to eat regularly. That means when you wake up in the morning after your alarm goes off, you make sure that at 8.30 you have your meal, at 12.30 you have another meal, at 6 you have a meal. And this is something that, that you wanna do to make sure that you don't binge in the future. Every single time you skip a meal, every single time you ignore a craving, you are scheduling a binge. So let's say you skip lunch, you're scheduling a binge for dinner. If you constantly find yourself in this merry-go-round of binging and restricting and binging and restricting, not only will you find that your mind's experiencing a lot more chaos, but you'll also find that at the end of it, you've, you've actually gained weight and you have now an even larger fitness goal. My third tip is going to be making sure you have whole meals. So what, by that, I mean make sure your meal has a protein, a carb, and a fat. A lot of times when you're trying to lose weight, you really, you know, subconsciously at this point, you are constantly trying to limit carbs. You're constantly trying to limit fat. And what that does is once again, it sets you up to binge because now, because you're telling your body, oh, I can't eat carbs, oh, I can't eat fats. Well, guess what? You're gonna binge on something that's super sugary, on, some, on something that's extremely fatty because you're constantly telling your brain what you can't have. And so naturally as a human being, you want it more. Also, your body needs fat and carbohydrates the same way it needs protein. So by constantly prioritizing protein over fat and carbohydrates, once again, you're setting yourself up for a binge, okay? So that means that, that your meals should look something like salmon, which is like a fatty meat. It's a fatty protein. So that's your protein and your fat. And then you have sweet potatoes. And then for your micronutrients, you have your mixed leafy greens or you have maybe some broccoli for a cruciferous veggie but making sure that every single time you eat you have a full a full meal for your meal times okay that and, and then 
that coincides with this next tip which is to optimize your snacks so a lot of times when people are dieting they're constantly trying to say no snacks no snacks stop snacking stop snack stop snacking but when i lost my first 50 pounds i was extremely intentional about my snacks because i knew how much i enjoy snacks you just want to get more out of your snacks meaning instead of snacking on like chips right which is just carbs right just plain carbs maybe look for something that will give you some more nutritional bang for your buck so you can do like berries with like full fat whipped cream right so then you have a, a carb and a fat or you can do like a slice of of um avocado toast right with right with with one egg i think that'll only get you at like 300 calories or so you can do crackers and cheese you can do um apples and peanut butter like you want to make the most out of your snacks you don't necessarily want to jump straight to cutting out all your snacks because once again when your brain gets hip about that deprivation it kind of it goes against you and it makes you want to binge my next tip is going to be focus on stress management so you want to focus on healthy stress management practices meaning instead of finding instead of allowing food to be where you where you find your your sense of reward or where you find your, your place of rest you want to find other ways to do that so i like to journal i like to take walks i like to talk to like my mom or my friends like those are like my favorite ways and then you also want to be more more cognizant of the stressful areas in your life so certain people may stress you out certain environments may stress you out um certain times of the month you may find yourself a bit more stressed out like like the first of the month if you pay rent or something so you want to be more intentional and you want to find ways to like decrease your stress meaning pay your bills early avoid certain people it's not a big deal just don't talk to them again like just don't respond to their texts avoid certain people just don't respond to their texts like literally it's not that deep just just put them on do not disturb and live your life it is amazing 10 out of 10 would recommend um avoid certain environments there are certain environments you just never need to be in they're dirty they're ghetto you don't need to be there sorry they stress you out don't go there that's a really great way of stress management because what you're doing is you're not even exposing yourself to the stress in the first place so you don't even have to manage the manage the stress because it's not happening okay and then lastly is going to be find yourself a therapist girl like i know you probably thought you were doing something googling i mean searching something on youtube but what you need to do is you need to find somebody who went to school for this and who knows how to help you who knows how to show you even better ways of stress management who knows how to get into your head who has studied this for years and years and years there are certain people who they want they really want to build their whole life on just how to help you stop this one thing and they'll do it and they'll do it well because you're because you'll cut them a check every single month all right you guys so i hope that these tips helped when once i got a hold of the, of these tips i felt a lot more peace in my fitness journey and I, it also made it so that if i were to binge i could bounce back from a binge a lot easier i wouldn't be overcome by all the guilt and the shame that comes following the binge and yeah so that's it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one bye